Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to set up a static website with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and Cloudflare. Uh, first thing we do is we go create a bucket and normally in S3 we would actually use the domain name but here I'm actually just going to stick with the automatic uh, random name. It's actually date and time because the pattern matching in Cloudflare will cause overlap otherwise. So we create the bucket, then we need to go back in here and edit the visibility. And we can just click priv uh, public and save changes. It's a couple less steps than S3 does these days. And then we just, we're going to upload a couple objects just to verify that we have it uploaded. And then we browse on our computer to grab the files. And there they have uploaded. And you just Click Upload and Close. Now we're going to look at the object details for one of the files. And we're going to grab this URL. Actually, we're going to click out in first to see. Hey, it, it's there. And it, the image at the bottom is actually a, is, is the image we uploaded. So everything's good there. So now we're going to go to Cloudflare. We're going to add a site and then put our domain name in here. Then we're going to scroll down and select the free tier. Now we haven't updated our domain name server which is name cheap in this case. So we're going to delete the C name that's already here. And then we're going to add a C name, uh, star for the name, asterisk, whatever. And then the target is going to be the host name that is the part of this URI for the bucket that we created. So paste that in and then just edit out the protocol at the beginning and then also everything after oraclecloud.com save it now okay All right, so we're on to the next step. We change, enter the name servers as custom DNS here, and just copy and paste those two from Cloudflare. Hit the check and name cheap. Okay, now done. Now, this is going to give us the option of doing some protocol redirects and such. So the first one is automatic HTTPS rewrites. That should be green. The second one is going to be always converted from HTTP to HTTPS. And then the compression. Okay, so if we go over to our domain now, We'll see, it's still not ready. So there's some refresh delay here, uh, but we can go back and work on 
setting up page rules so that we can actually catch those requests and redirect them properly. So, and this URL pattern is, so you start with an asterisk, then you put your domain name slash as another asterisk, set up a forwarding URL, and then your destination URL is not the name server, but the URL for the object sends that last piece. So one, one thing you have here, so this is the full URL for the index page. Uh, notice there are two asterisks above. So those get indexed and captured groups as, as $1 and $2. The first part is just the protocol and maybe whatever host name there. We don't care about that. And well, page rule validation failed because I forgot to tell it to do a 302 on a temporary redirect. So that $2 is going to capture the path that we include. So our page is, is still not ready. One well, next thing we want to do is add a router. Uh, first, we're going to create a worker that will, it's a little JavaScript to do the routing. And so we just create an HTTP router here and, and then create service. Now we go and do a quick edit. And the code I'm pasting in here is actually from a blog post detailing how to do a lot of this stuff. So if reading is more your speed for trying to get this done, um, you can, and it's actually at the link at the very top here. So I did split out the base URL so that I can just edit out the slash h index.html and then the rest of this is base. Any search parameters. Now we save and deploy and then we go back to the workers page from here. Now we click on view under the routes because we want to add another route because it's only using the default one. And we're going to enter a route here. Every time I come to this page, I keep thinking that I want to edit out that example.com. That's just a hint. I so just type in that field and it's again, that same pattern, asterisk domain name slash asterisk, and then the zone of whatever your domain name is. And then you add the route. And now it should be responding to that route. Now notice it says can provide a secure connection. Uh, I tried a couple times, sat here, tried to do some troubleshooting, but then I went back to the page and refreshed and it, it loaded. And that's because it needs to cache all of those, all that content out. But that's it in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.